I mean, I'm not trying to build a new bike. I'm trying to, 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 to give this one a little bit of attitude. Yeah. Keep the factory style and just add some flair to it. A little bit of Ric Flair. You know what I'm saying. Woo! I got a few Harleys and a few bikes to ride, but uh, I wanted something that I could leave up there at Sturgis and uh, what have you. So uh, I ran across this 2023 Fat Bob with six or seven miles on it and uh, just got here. I'm going to have a little fun with it. I'm going to mix this up. I kind of got something in my head uh, that I want to make just a rough and tumble run around bar hopper, you know, having a good time and uh, goofing off something I don't have to worry about too much up there and uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna get my fingers dirty, I'm gonna get out some tools, and uh, Lord willing, these guys will be able to fix up whatever I fuck up. So we're not gonna need this. Ah. Okay, so, look, clean. Got all the reflector juice and everything with it. Steel under there, smooth as a baby's bottom. You usually don't rub a baby's bottom like that though. That's weird. <laughs> do you even have a plan on what you're gonna do to this thing? Well, I'm not a big fan of safety measures, except when uh, I have to be. So we're gonna get rid of those. We gotta get that stuff off. We gotta get rid of these. Yeah, rubber's not the same as a reflector, is it? Uh-oh, look at that. That one came off with all the go-go juice. Look at that, it'll stick to you. That's good. Here's safety now. You're the new safety manager here at Cast Monkey Garage. Oh shit. <laughs> We're fucked. Everybody's fired. <laughs> Y'all are all fired. <laughs> all right. So, what do we use to get this stuff off? You got, is there like a... Well, it depends on how it's on there. Yeah, Usually just... I just use my thumb. Well... Yeah. Your so, thumb's... Look at how rough your thumb is. It takes it off like sandpaper. Feel, yeah. My thumb's not that rough. It's really soft. Well, I got years of calluses and working on cars and your hands... You... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the grease, Mike, that comes off of the $100 bills from all the people handling them. So I, I, my hands are always nice and soft and greased up. Yeah, that, it's like I a rubber. I don't have that problem. Yeah. Go back off the off the front and then go forward out of it. No, it's both. Well, it's just this as well. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah, no don't shit. scratch it, dude. We're not doing Why are we doing this? I thought Richard was doing this. Richard's facilitating the ideology of what's going on here. I need a lowering kit for front and rear to go into chain other than I like chain because it's cool. Chain looks better. That's the only advantage. Chain, chain, chain. Exactly right. uh, <laughs> chain of meat fools. Meat grinder. Grinder? Meat grinder, Mike. Whatever, dude. I knew it. I want to find some moto bars for it. Ooh, I can't remember how I looked at it. It might have been Renthal. I found some the other day. Well, but you're wanting crossbar is your biggest look, right? But I want it to be a fat bar. Go in right. here, mm -hmm. come with the crossbar. Are the controls going to be the same? Because I did that on a Sportster one time, and I had to change every control because the bar ends were so so much smaller. So the ones I found are made for your factory controls. You just have to deep pin them because they're pinned. Yeah. Okay. So you'll have to deep pin them or drill a pin hole into that handbar. Yeah. I mean, those risers don't look horrible, but yeah. No, they have a moto look. The risers don't bother me. Uh oh, the wife's calling. Mine calls when she knows I'm spending money. I don't think his cares. Mine just <laughs> gets mad when I lay in bed and look at marketplace. Is that what you look at in bed? Yeah. Well, we've all seen his marketplace. Yeah, we have. We've also seen your Instagram search page. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got it kind of torn down in the back and as you can tell i'm wanting to do like a moto look uh so we went with a, a knobby wheel we're changing it over to chain drive which i think is going to be really cool and uh, right now we're just trying to figure out what to do with the exhaust because i doubt that my lovely wife will ever get on the back of this but in case she does i don't want her to burn her leg but i want to get this exhaust up out here more kind of moto style so we can put the number plate on it and uh there was a big guard and some other stuff. We trashed all that, and uh, 
now we're kind of getting a good look at what we got. I don't know that we even need the pegs, man. The rears? Why? We're letting it mess us up over here. So why not just pull them off and then we can follow this curve just like we want to and come back right where we want to. We just whack right here and sew on and it definitely makes life a lot easier. So then let's ditch the pegs. Because if my girl does get on the back, she's tiny. She can just wrap her uh, legs around me like they used to do in the 80s. You're not going to complain about that, so it's okay. No, I ain't going to complain about that. Can I ride with her? You're in trouble. No, you can't ride with my wife. Okay, never mind. I'm going to go back to work. We all were thinking it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's yank the pegs, and then we can use the factory exhaust covers. Of course, we're going to make them black. We just come up a little bit right here. We still get to our oil, and it's no more heat than it was. Mm -hmm. And then I want it just nice and clean right up here. Okay. Uh, we really, until we're back on the ground, yeah. we really can't speculate where it's going to land. I was wanting to wait from rear fender and all that. All right. That's so cool pull the pegs, and we'll be done with that. Uh, I want to do something with the air cleaner, but I don't know what. Okay. I kind of like... Uh, form and function so we may pull it back and just see what it looks like underneath it and i may just maybe we make a big screen here to give it a little bit beefier look or something like that but you know the trumpet doesn't make sense to me mm -hmm. the open one doesn't make sense the stupid ones that poke forward doesn't look good on a moto so i don't like it where's the screwdriver where's the what screwdriver jesus christ i wish i'd never opened that yeah this was in bad shape though i just yeah uh, nope, this is Torx. Or Allen. I can't I can't even see that with my glasses. It's so freaking small. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty sad, dude, that I can't even see it with my glasses. Mm -hmm. I mean, but that's the problem. I'm telling you, all you guys out there right now that think, oh, yeah, that's bullshit. You know, no, you wait till you get about 50 and shit starts falling apart. I'm 55 and I'm up to 1.75 magnifiers. Oh, that's not good. That doesn't sound good at all, does it? No. Did off. you give me the wrong size? No, it fit pretty good. Different material. Okay. Well, that did an awesome job of taking off a stupid number plate. I need another bigger one. So now we got to no take way. that off. <laughs> okay. What in the freaking hell? Why yeah. didn't they just put the bolts through there? Uh, that's yeah. a good question. They used to. Yeah, you go over there to my old chopper, and, and it just comes off the whole thing. One, two bolts. Are you freaking kidding me? This stupid thing serves no purpose. It's got a cover on it that makes decorative shit that's got a cover on it that has a decorative saying on it, and that's it. There's three pieces of shit here and four <laughs> bolts that serve no purpose whatsoever. Fuck. We think we can cut this out. Okay and put the mesh in there paint this gray the the harley orange space the mesh off a little bit so it gives you some depth and uh then put this back on so sandwich the mesh in between the cover and the filter mm -hmm. i think we come in like that you can see my greasy finger real sexy mm -hmm. and leave those two like little bolt holes because they're, they're they're and then cut everything else out all the way around this line you got these two sexy tabs okay we we'll put a couple of a uh, couple of uh, there's no lip on this, so as long as it gets close to tight, it's yes. fine. And then we've got a couple of uh, small washers, mesh, a couple of small washers, this. Mm -hmm. And worst case scenario, we could trim this too. If you want to. Then it's just a plate that sticks on there. Okay. You got two sexy. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Get rid of this. Two sexy tabs. And then wash it out, wash it out, give it some depth, orange, and then we'll save your idea for the mesh till last till we put it together. Okay. I think we need, we're going to have to cut a plate. We need a plate that's this size. Why? Because that's a filter. But it's metal. Yeah, but I paint your filter. Every time you change filter, you're going to have to paint the filter. How many times do you think I'm going to change the filter? I don't know. I mean, when my oil light comes on, I get a new truck. <laughs> that's, hey, true story. My bike's true like story. 40 years old. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. If you want to make a plate, make a plate. But let's get that started with someone. I don't who have ain't... to. I can paint the fucking filter if you want to paint the filter. <laughs> okay. Well, let's we'll just let's just do it. Okay. Yeah. So, 
he's working on something, you're working on something, I guess you can do that stuff. I don't know. So what Richard wants is, first off, he wants me to cut this, this ear off, right? So that's going to go away. But then he wants me to cut it all the way into this line, basically all the way around, except for he wants me to leave mounting points like this. So he said sexy little tabs, so I don't know if I do this, because he wants sexy like that. Or, I mean, hey, does that look sexy to you? The tab? No, that's not what he's saying, though. What? Okay, what do you think he's saying? So, something. No, this is gone. Huh? All this outer perimeter, all the way to this line, is gone. Hmm. So, can't do that because that's gone. What if we just cut this out then? That wouldn't look bad, though. That was all opened up and your screen was in there with the fucking orange behind it? Yeah. No, I'm I'm not arguing with you. And, and then you could this going. You could paint this I, and this like some letters. Blood, sweat, beer, something. Well you volunteering me for a whole lot of shit. So what I, I volunteer you for? That that you're stuck You're the with. fab guy. <laughs> it's fun though. See, you can't even fuck with you, Mike. You get all fucking butt hurt. I'm gonna be like, you need to paint something. Why don't you paint this? You want me to? I'll fab it and you paint it. Do you want me to? I mean, if we're I'll gonna, totally if fucking, we're fucking it. it up, I'll totally it. fucking do it in heartbeat, and you know I will. Are you done crying? No. Where'd he go? You're crying. <laughs> okay, he's talking with Josh. So we can either do something like this with all the center cut out, but Josh thought you were talking about just in here. So just. Like this section missing. No. I want a ring with tabs. Ha, huh, motherfucker. I want a ring with tabs because then when you're looking in here, there's going to be some space that it's going to be out a little bit. And there'll be some definition with the color in the back and the mesh and the whatever. Okay. So the only thing is ring with tabs okay. and whack that. Yeah, I know you want that, John. Even. Go precision. If you uh, don't think you can be as precise as we need, have Josh do He's got. That's why I wanted to paint that, because I wanted the depth. I wanted it to have some... Yeah, but it's got a Harley stamp in it. It's got this stamp in it. It's got this stamp in it. You want to put a graphic on it. I don't think I'm going to put a graphic on it. I was asking. But if you're going to do anything, then you got to make it the inside diameter. Okay, well, we can do that. Because I want that depth. We can do that. Yeah. You don't mind seeing rubber? No. I would tape it off and shoot it. It's rubber's all the way down to here. Caddy ass mop is fucking. Don't look at that. Give me that back. <laughs> don't look yeah, at see, that. I don't want that. I want the depth. It needs to look like it's doing stuff. Well, it will be doing stuff. See, you can make it do all the stuff. That behind there, and then this, and then this gives us some depth, gives us some movement. Form follows function. Bro. Okay, well, at least let me make one that goes inside here. Okay, if that's what you want to do, but then it's going to stick up because of those. Well, it doesn't have to. I can, technically, I can. That's not stamped. That is right there. Harley Davidson stamp right there. Take that off and paint it orange. All right. Please. The small disagreement that we have, but I, it, I get a paycheck, so I have to do what I'm told, um, is this is, a, this is an oil filter or an air filter, right? You buy this, you use it, you throw it away. Okay, so he wants this painted in here, which has these two stamps, and has this stamp, and has all this rubber that just kind of goes over. And to me, it looks shitty. So I was gonna make a cover, then I paint the cover, because he talked about wanting a graphic on it. I know you saw that. Now he doesn't, but I didn't want to paint this because this is just, it gets thrown in the trash later, right? So then I gotta paint another one. And another one. Another one! Every time this gets changed. Claims he's never gonna change it. 
I wanted to make something that went here, painted. Then you could just take this and discard it. And you always have this piece done. I was always told to work smarter, not harder. But sometimes around here, you just have to, you just have to work harder. Alright, so while Richard was at Sturgis, uh, we did get the Moto Pegs shifter and we're waiting on the brake lever. We did get the wrong one in. Um, Ricky ended up getting the full lowering kit in front and rear in the suspension. Uh, we did the chain sprocket to give it really, you know, that good Moto look. So now it's time to do the Moto bars and we kind of want his opinion on that and where or if we do fenders. We've already chopped the front fender off of the front and kept the fork guards, so it gives it a real cool moto look. So, it's going pretty good, I feel like, but I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than what I initially expected to make it correct. This thing's real awkward. It's like in my neck. Every time I turn that way, I touch it, I touch it, I touch it. This is stock position, stock position. I wanted you to look at it now that it's lowered. I mean, I know you probably still want it shorter, but height-wise, it's not bad. So I was wondering if we don't keep stock mounts and then just trim that out to show. Like it's we not about, bad, know? but it's still pretty tall. Yeah. It just—it looks like we didn't think it through. Okay. I mean, we can still drop it and roll it forward like you're wanting. I mean, that's still—that's not a problem. We done figured that out with the mounts, so. I think it needs to be lower. Mm -hmm. I still want it to be kind of nasty, dirty, low, and okay. closer to the tire, and what have you. So we'll play with that. What are you thinking on the bars? Because I, I know that we wanted these moto bars, right. but these aren't quite moto bars. It's like they need more pitch, and I need that bar across here. Well, so the crossbar I couldn't really find, but that's something that we can make pretty easy. Uh, and then your risers are an inch and a half riser. They're huge. In the, the middle. Big, yeah, and the biggest we but can get. But on the end, they're the this. Base. Yeah, it's all correct. So, chop this in the center. Split the bar. Take this wherever your, your mounts end. Go a little bit past. And then splice this bar internally in this. Plug weld it. Weld the ends up. And then we give it a cool look. Uh, we need to bend, uh, take a cheat bar or something we have back there. Mm -hmm. And let's bend what we think we're going to end up with before we just start whacking. Okay. And uh, I can't decide on the front fender either. Yeah, like that right there, it kind of looks cool, but it also kind of makes me think of the old Yamaha Fat Cats. Remember those bikes with the big old tires on it? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm um, not sure what to do on that. It looks mean without it, but obviously if you ever get any rain or anything, you know what's going to happen. So, it's a double-edged sword on that. I don't know. Let me think about that for a minute. But probably just... Uh, Let's continue on and make the fender the last decision. So on the exhaust, since we're not running a, a foot peg, mm -hmm. can't we just whack it and bring them tight together and just up here and turn them? And then we got to find a cool uh, inserts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know if you wanted to do that first. And the reason why I've waited is for the decision on the rear fender. Do we want to get the rear fender down where we want it? First. Okay. Well, All right. I'll, I'll get on that then. All right, cool. hits that line dude yeah and i think we're damn near there what do you think yeah no i like it i think if we roll like you're talking about a little bit i think you roll it up to it richard i make that if okay. you can come from this nine o'clock mm -hmm. to this yeah then i think we can do that That gives us what we want, and we can still use the initial rounds. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that you can see the front of the tire now. That does remind me, you know, Moto, you can see that. I wish I had a wider tire in the back, but I like all this. I think we're there, and you can see it all in there. It, it, that's clean. Yeah, I like it. Richard's got some crazy ideas we know, and it's 
flowed into this bike now. So now he wants to do a staggered setup like his exhaust, but up high with a number plate and all this crazy shit. So what we've had to do is take and build a different route for the exhaust. It's not gonna burn his legs, it's not gonna melt anything. You still get your oil dipstick. So I got this thrown together and right around the corner is some buddies of ours, M4 Exhaust, you probably heard of them. Uh, I went over there and Richard hooked me up with a whole box of bins and bins and bins. So uh, what we're gonna do is try to get this situation out of this box of bins, get it all tacked up and welded, and uh, then you'll get to see the mufflers we got. So I'm not gonna show you those yet. Surprise. Yeah, Josh. Uh, so I went and got things this morning. I figured you want to be the one to open it. Well, thank you. don't do that. <laughs> That's just a slip joint. I feel like I'm unwrapping a, 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 a sandwich. Oh yeah. Now see, that's much better. Put that. I want to scratch it. Put that on there. Why you gotta go so low? Well, let's see where we're landing. Obviously, we're gonna be back. Well, maybe not. But anyway, it's gonna be back here. Okay. It's still crooked, Josh. Find Help a brother out. To get rid of these big old complicators. Oh, see. Yeah, two of those M4s. Well, guess what? Well, I would have figured that you would have bought two. <laughs> Been weird if you didn't, but it looks like you only got one in, sir. No, I'll try one thing here. And just a little stagger, completely Dude. even. I don't know, the little bit of stagger out there looks pretty fucking mean. I think a little stagger. These things are badass. I can't believe this dude's been around the corner from us for like 30 years. I never, I never would have thought it. Now the M4s are it. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm kind of questioning the tank. So, I'm going for kind of a, a pissed off 70s dirt track look, uh, slash moto look from the 70s. Uh, but a brand new Harley Davidson. So um, a while back uh, from my friend up there, uh, Denny, at uh, Cannonburg um, at Sport Wheels in Minnesota, I bought like 500 tanks. And as I was sitting at lunch today, um, I'm clicking through pictures and I'm trying to figure out this style because we're nailing the exhaust, we're nailing the moto bars, the knobby tires, chain uh, drive that we switched from the belt drive. And I'm like, man, I think it needs to have that slab side, that big side tank. And maybe that'll give us the area where I want to paint that that kind of 70s inspired moto stuff that I grew up with. Holy shit, my old. Is this what you were thinking when you said slap sides? Um, I, 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 uh, yeah, sort of. I mean, I look out of, out of the 500 tanks we got. Y'all hold it up there and let me see it from back here. Problem. You hold that up there, Mike. I don't know. Proportion-wise, it's a... Oh, that's perfect. Are you making that face, Josh? I'm not making no faces. <laughs> you don't like it? It just needs to be painted. It's just awful right now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the trim is still good on it. The rubber's savable, I believe. It is, actually. Yeah. So, and like I said, out of all the ones we have, this is the. It's super straight. One in the best shape. Yeah. Oh. Well, I only have like 400 gas tanks back there. I know, and that's the one in the best shape. No, it does. I mean, it's it's wicked. I like that tank a lot better. Yeah, honestly. But we're gonna have to check the fuel pump and shit. Well, because... just remember, it was my idea. Of course, it, it, it's always. We're dumb. No, yeah. you're not dumb. You just need a little help and prodding. We have horrible ideas. We can just accomplish things. <laughs> I like the idea of changing the. T did y'all scratch my tank already? You did. I did. <laughs> I did. I remember doing that too. You literally scratched it. I didn't yeah, even have no, to I be y'all. You know it was mine. Yeah, I scratched it because I was going to paint it, so I scratched it. 
<laughs> well, now we can't sell the tank, Mike. Yeah, we can. Does the tank come off? Has it got gas in it? Comes off. You gotta keep turning. You'll get there. Yeah. Ain't got much. Give me a lighter. I can't tell. Here, try this, <laughs> try this match. Real quick though. Bars. I don't know if you noticed. I one. love the bars. Cool with it. The bars are badass. They're Before exactly, I what, I, they're exactly what I was searching for, except for you did not do the crossbar. I was wanting to get with you about high plus. Well. Give me a stick or something. Yeah, thing. The chingaladera. Yeah, it's going to be about that big with the pad on it. So the bar itself will be a lot smaller. Okay. And that's what I want. About right there? About in those flags right okay. there. All right. Hey, 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 hey. There's oil on my hands. Hey, you pay for, he pays for the shirts. I don't care. I really like that right there. I like it too. <laughs> it's like super freaking badass. And I like this cap topper. Yeah, that was a neat tank. You know where it was from? Pretty sure it's Honda. Yeah, we know that. Is that a CB? That was a CB350. Why is it taking so long, Michael? I'm not a mechanic. I'm a painter. Yeah, cool. While you do that, I'm going to go get a beer. Two of them. I can do everything that any normal mechanic or any of the guys here can do. I can do the fabricating and all that stuff, but the less he knows that I know, the better off we're all going to be. Why doesn't somebody that's a motorcycle mechanic help Mike Coy? Because he's not a mechanic, he's a painter. No, hell no. Grab There's been paint. so many situations where I witness Mike do things correctly, and then when you walk in, he starts messing them up so you don't have to do it. Oh, I've done the same thing to y'all for 20-something years. I know how to do all this stuff, but I ain't gonna do it. You I, have a check. I, I, no, it. I don't. Daphne does that. Don't put that shit on me, because when the checks don't show up, you gotta yell at her, not me. I hope that fuel pump holds the fuel inside the... Will you just quit yeah, your fucking whining and do it? Yeah, I'm just trying to keep the fuel from coming out. That one doesn't have a, may have a check valve. goes up high in the tank, so yeah, pull it. Yeah, I am pulling it. Here. Mm. That's in All right, pull that bolt. Don't scratch the tank any more than you done scratching it. Well, no problem. Give me some wiggles, man. You got a thread still holding in there? No. Here we go. That's what we're talking about. Pretty good in good shape. I can't believe it. Look at how much more the motor it shows. Minor modifications. That's a rad dude. But I think we got to get it just a little bit more level, get a little bit more down in the front. It's really close to fitting. Damn. What am I on up here? You're, well, you're hitting these things. Okay. So if we, we can trim those just a little, let me trim the bottom. Trim those, those just a tad. Let's see what we're looking for. Look at how much motor that shows. Why am I liking that? I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, it's fucking falling. Do we want to go down this route? And do we want to trim the real tank and skin it with this one? Overall, I think this is a cooler look and you're going wild with the box, so I don't see why we wouldn't just do it. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it looks cool as fuck. Yeah, it's, it, like it's wicked even, looking. Even with the Honda on it. Like, well, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and bring this tank up, use these original tabs, drill the exact size hole, yeah. and put a bolt through here in the center of these tabs mm -hmm. and see where we land and then we'll jack with the back because if we're going to do that we're going to use the original mount mounting holes and we're going to mount that tank with the fuel pump to this one yeah. okay. and that'll give us time that we can clean the inside of this one and then my only concern is going to be super saving this uh rubber piece because it's still pliable and soft no, and uh and these chrome pieces Okay. Um, because we're gonna have to tank, we're gonna have to literally use the bottom and the mounts of that tank mm -hmm. and everything else of this tank. Believe it or not, that's probably one of the easier things he's assigned us to do on this fucking bike. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I found easy to do on this bike? It's illegal. No drinking and riding, fools.
Quiet on the set. Why are you yelling at me, Ricky? Stop yelling. <laughs> Back to your regularly scheduled programming. All right, so here's what we're up against. Not only has Richard had us chop this thing into pieces, now he wants to put this Honda CB200 tank on here. So the task at hand is we have to take the stock tank because it has a fuel pump and a couple of different drains and vents, which Ricky had already cut out. And we need to fit it now into the bottom of this tank. So what I'm gonna do is take it over, cut the bottom of this tank out, slide this in there, fab it up, fit it, and see where we go from there. We'll see if it works. the way kids don't go cutting on your gas tanks I know it seems like a dumb tips and tricks right there but I know there's a couple of you that think you're just gonna go cutting on it now so make sure it's cleaned out this tank's been setting for years and years and years and our new tank we did flush out with water and let it set outside for at least 24 hours so please be careful I know I want y'all to fab I want everybody to learn this it's a dying trait but just do it smart different than what we do. All right, so we got the tank completely mounted where we want it, hot, everything where Richard likes it. You know, he was really particular on that bottom body line. So I went into the seat. Um, the one that we was trying to use, the stock pan, trying to cut it up and all that shit just became, I don't know, out of hand. It was just dumb. Dude, this is one of the craziest things I've ever done. It's a brand new, perfectly good seat that's never been ridden on. Not good. Oh, let's see what happens. I'm really liking it now. So I went ahead and I made a seat pan. It was going good. Richard ended up wanting a little bit here more up on his back. So I added a little tab on the back, smooth that in later. And we're gonna put the front fender on the rear. Just so happens it fits really freaking cool. It's still gonna give it that really aggressive moto look. So uh, man, it's, it's, it's really falling together. Uh, this bike's turning out to be freaking awesome i can't wait to see people's faces when they see it well first thing we need to do is make sure we like where our seat is and that the measurement is the same which that looks pretty close then you're going to need to go in there and i'd say let's start at an inch or so mm -hmm. we can always take off more but we can't add okay where's the thing you got So we've kind of come to a general design of how we wanted this piece. We like it. It'll probably get altered more and more we get into it. But right now we like the seat. We like the little brace behind it. So now it's time to jump into the fender. Um, Richard gave me a kind of an idea of what he wanted behind the exhaust to hold up. So I've bent this. I'm gonna get his ideas on that. But now I need to go in here and make a new uh, like splash guard for all the wiring. And we're gonna run up into the fender and have pretty much that whole side open. So he wants to see the chain and all that and really highlight the sprocket and the conversion we did. So we'll see. Um, man, fingers crossed I can make that little skid plate because it's got a lot of curves to it.
Oh, that's aluminum. Looking dope. So my seat's all in, where I'm gonna go? Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Yeah, that feels pretty good. You had talked before about rolling the bars back, now that you got a seat. We did tap them back a little bit. Oh, okay. Just a little bitty bit. Now this is pitching. I love it. Right on. So now I gotta figure out who can upholster it the fastest. So Josh is finishing up the tank, and I am working on the front end here. What I'm doing, don't worry about the monkey over there. So we got the uh, the front of the bike here. These guys, everything's got to be custom. So I'm going to uh, be installing these lights where the normal Harley Davidson light would be. And to do that, we're going to have to recess this housing. And then this stock mounting bracket in here, actually going to cut and weld a new face on to mount these lights to. So we're not just bolting on lights. We're actually going to make them into this housing so it's a lot of work do a little bit of uh, custom you know just to have a custom look so that's what i'm working on right now so i'm pretty happy with the tank we found back there in my wall of tanks and uh i'm pretty pretty stoked on it actually now we just got to come up with a cool design that fits the bike the fact that it's new and old and a throwback and still something cool i don't know it takes a little bit to come up with that stuff i got a little bit of beer all right, I think I'm close, guys, to something that I want. The color and the paint. We're finally going to let Mike Coy work on the bike. You know, I've been working on the bike. You know, everything is ready for paint. It's ready for just, I just need a go-ahead from you on colors. Well, I'm thinking about this. Because hmm. right. I kind of liked the panel of the tank the way that it was, the way we found it in our awesome pile of tanks. Um, and we do sell this shirt. I do kind of want to jazz it a little bit with maybe some white on that RR1 or whatever it is. Like a dirty white? Yeah, but that's my problem is I don't want gloss and I don't want hardcore gloss and gold. I want kind of, a, I grabbed this a minute ago walking by because these are our, uh, nifty little new shot glasses that we're selling at gasmoneygarage.com. See how that's kind of flat and kind of not, not flat. Yeah. It's like a satin or a, or a semi-gloss. Yeah. I like that. I like the, the stray marks. Uh, I like the lettering something there. I haven't decided on the RR1 or whatever. Um, but then I also, I don't want a dirty gold. I want a gold. I want it to be gold, man. Okay. I love gold. So it looks it like it's exist. a gold color to me. Yeah, but it's anodized. And we can't anodize There's it. There's gotta be something close. Here, here's the world book of colors with other golds. I've pre-marked them. But, but you're not gonna like any of them, I'm probably. No. It looks like you marked one. No, there's tape on all all the ones that look gold. There's one piece of tape sticking up, Mike. Yep, and you don't like it, right? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I hate it. And I just didn't think that this bike screamed for green. There's only one gold here, Mike. <laughs> That's your option. You this is not our this is not our Exalta book or whoever. Yes, it is our Exalta book. Oh, it is. Yes. I need a better gold. There's a gold. That sucks too. That's like got too much green in it. Oh my God. You had a book on my desk the other day that was more metallic. I don't know where the hell that thing I went. gave it back to you and you walked away with it. Yeah, well that's the first mistake. That gold sucks. It's around here somewhere. Let me look while you're sucking up gold. Do we got to cut cameras while we wait for you? I really think Chris put it somewhere, but I was able to find it. Now we're thinking maybe silver or something. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just kidding. What are y'all thinking? Wrong. Wrong. Wrong, probably. Do we not like the art? No, I love the art. I don't, I don't have a problem with the art. And honestly, if you want my opinion, I would do black and I would do like a, a gray. 
I don't know, neither one of them would be metallic. Really? Yeah. I think the gray would get lost. I don't think the gray would get lost like a dove gray, not like a dark gray, like a dove gray, like a lighter ish gray. What about a silver? No. I don't like the silver. I don't like silver either. So, eat a wiener, Josh. I like the gold idea too. I like this it's gold, and I think this gold will look good when it's flat. It's not very bright, but it is also, I want it to be down. But if you put it against black, it's gonna pop. But do you think that green pops a little more racer inspired? No, but I mean, we can do green too, if that's what you want. I think this in green might look pretty cool. And we got the gold chain, which goes, we got the exhaust, the green gives it more of a racy look. I'm afraid that if we're going with this gold and the panel, then we're really sticking ourselves in the old days. Take it outside. You go look at them outside, they change. Are we going to fight or something? That's I what mean, I was hearing. we can. I like that third one from the bottom over here. That's fucking. All right. You know? That's close to my green chop chop. That's why you said But that, that one's a little more sexier. CAE222 is what we're going to do. Mix it up on there. Okay. We had some Memphis shades that were really big and they did need to be cut down. But uh, they might have got cut down too, too thin. It's my fault. I picked out what I wanted and I probably would have had to live with it and say I was right, but this one was thinner than that one. So technically he fucked it all up. Look at here, tail the tape, I made the marks. That's like five sixteenths too much or too five less, six however six you want to look at it. That's like a quarter inch and more. What the fuck? <laughs> So obviously we got the plastic handguards and they was all right, but once they got cut down, the, uh, the vision was lost. So we're gonna scrap those and we're just gonna make our own now. So I kind of took the shape of the plastic one and rolled it out, got the, what I'm thinking, he was trying to tell me what he wanted yesterday. So just trying to go off of his brain, but I think I got the radiuses that I want. So I'm gonna cut a shape out and see if it looks good. nailed what he wanted on these hand guards. He had some ideas he was spitting out last night that we tried to nail with the plastic ones. That didn't go good. But uh, he's out at lunch right now, so when he gets back, fingers crossed he locks them and we can just roll with these. All right, starting to take shape. It's getting there. Uh, that's pretty much where I'm picturing the exhaust landing. I don't have a whole lot more choice without having a true bender. I mean, what are you feeling? Well, as long as it's all straight and all that. I know you just got it mocked up right now. Yeah. And we can push the fender around a little bit too. Uh, the tire is just floating in there and the fender is uh, okay. mocked up. To be it's like I've one bolt in it. Oh, you made these out of metal. Well, <laughs> I got tired of trying to find them in plastic and I just took what you kept talking about and but once we kind of bend them into shape. Yeah. No, it looks good. The brackets are a little loose. I got to get some thicker grommets to actually hold the metal because it's thinner than the plastic. So they move around. But I was just going for the general shape of what you were talking about last night. Why can't you just weld it to them? Yeah, I was just trying to make it look like factory, or not factory, but you know, store-bought looking shit. I don't want store-bought looking stuff. That's custom. It is custom. There's nothing on this bike that isn't fucking custom at this point. All right, so uh, good news. I went up to the event at Choctaw and uh, there was a guy there that had some uh, pretty slick ride and uh, they do interior and I told him we were in a bind. So let's kind of tell him what we want to figure out. What's up, my man? 
How you doing, sir? Good to see you, man. Thank you Good for bailing you. us out of this. I, I really want to go simple. This piece is from 1972, and we want to follow that pattern. Um, I don't know if we do a reverse of that pattern and get a little wider as we go Probably back. Probably be better. How it's getting a little, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, wrap around and down, nice and clean. Um, we have a fender, so but it's still it's going to be real close to here, so it's going to allow it to get hot. And then I just want nice black leather with the stitching in black. So I'm going to build the foam, and soon I build the foam, you can see if you like that way, or we can change the idea. All right, cool. Let's build some foam. All right. Check it out. Well, I think I want to roll. Okay. Because I don't want it to be real wide out here. Okay. And same with these. I'm gonna roll it. You there. want a curve? Okay. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more in here, and then glue it all the way. Yep. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. Love it. I got it. So uh, that's Rivas. We ran into him at the Turkey Drags. We ran into him again this past weekend at uh, Choctaw Casino. Uh, they do good work out of Sherman, Texas, and I'm up against it. Uh, so I wanted the seat to look right and be right. Uh, we've got some equipment here, but I don't have an interior guy on board. We probably could have faked our way through it, but I got enough time and energy and money into this bike. I want it to look good. That's turned out pretty good. Hey, Josh. Josh, hey. What's up, dude? You just got a roadie from Summit. Is that a say Moroso on it? Yeah. Nice. It couldn't have been per more perfect. Look, got you a stool here. Did you open it yet? You huh. should open it. Well, I can see so it. So I just got done these real sexy exhaust. Yeah. Now I've got to go to Sturgis like now. Okay. I know you know what that is. It's had a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go, Ricky. Uh, I got a 20 hour drive ahead of me. So can you please wrap, wrap these? And not to make it any more difficult, but you do know how OCD Richard is, so. <laughs> yeah. Good luck! <laughs> I knew, how did I know I was gonna get stuck with this? This is the one thing I did not want to do. If only I could do this really fast. So I got my tape based out uh, the way I want it. Um, it might look a little weird to you now, but it won't later. So there's actually four different grays on here. And I'm about to line it out, stripe it out, and then do a skull thing here with these like wings. And then um, after that, I'm going to patina the tank. So. When I do something like that, I want to do it where it makes sense. Like, it wouldn't make sense to have all this messed up, but it would make sense for it to be messed up here because like your knees, the way you ride, like your knees might hit the tank here, you know, up here might be messed up because you're leaning on the tank and throttling with your right hand when you're just like hanging out riding with your bros. Um, so that, that would be common to be messed up. Here, where your junk would ride would probably be a little bit patina. Now, uh, being that it's Richard's bike, I'm definitely not going to patina it there. But uh, the rest of it will be. So, yep, so I gotta get to laying out some strikes. 
I'm way off. According to the studies, I'm way off. So the little graphic thing is done. So now I'm just gonna give it a little rub through and some spots and a uh, little, little patina-ish stuff and then uh, put some clear on it and then sand it and then clear it again. So um, when I talked to him Monday uh, before he had to jump on a plane and head to Sturges, um, I had the green all mixed up, everything ready to go and he said, no, I want all gray and black. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So just, you know, it's a waste of paint it is what it is. So I get everything done and I send him pictures. I'm like, let me send him pictures before I clear it to make sure that he's cool with what's been sanded on it, what's been done to it. So I send him these pictures, right? So I'll shoot him a couple detailed pictures of kind of what's going on. And I said, before I clear it, let me know if you want more, right? And then put it on the bike, let him look at it. And this is what I get. I know he's fucking with me, which is cool, because I like to fuck with people, but I don't like it when people fuck with me. You know, I'm, I'm one of those children that, you know, I can dish it out, but I just, I man, I have a hard time taking it. All right, guys, this was the last piece I was waiting on. Mike brought the tank over. It is done and it looks great. So I'm gonna put the tank on and then pretty much start building this bike all the way out. It's super exciting. Um, as you can see, it's gonna be a really cool looking bike. Hey, that's what you need to do to your automobile when you're going to the oil change place. You need to have a filter that says fuck off, you know, because when they do your oil change, they always want to try to sell you an air filter too. So that could really work out. It's like instead of the K&N sticker on top of the box, it says fuck off, just do my oil change. So here it is, man. This is Richard's 2023, what was a fat bob. Uh, it came a long ways, man. When this thing first started, it was just gonna be a couple of bolts on things here and there. And I can tell you, it has went crazy. There's not a part on this that's stock anymore. Well, the front fender that's on the back now is stock. Handmade handguards. That bolt stock. Yeah, there's a, there's a fuel pump from the stock tank inside of the aftermarket tank, so. Man, it's just normal gas monkey fashion, normal Richard. You know, but we haven't built a bike in a long time. Dude, you're right. You're so right. for him to just do bolt on stuff wouldn't have really worked. I mean, it's been, I think the biker build off was the last time we really did a motorcycle here. Yeah. So I had a lot of fun on it and I know that you had a blast, dude. I mean, tell them about your paint job. That's cool. I kind of had a blast. So dealing with Richard is just, it's, it's the most craziest shit to try to get him to sit down and give you an idea or a color or anything that he wants on a paint job. This is yeah. 
no different. It went from just design some stuff and we'll see if I like it. So I'm back there painting tank after tank after tank to try to find something that he likes. Of course, he liked none of it. He uh, decided that he wanted to go with something like this, which was off of one of our old shirts. So we did that. And of course, he had been back and forth to Sturges working on the restaurant. And it's like trying to get him to answer the phone or through a text to get him to make a decision. Well, you didn't add the part of, you got the design, but you also had the design, how many different colors? Yeah, that was at <laughs> least 16 colors. <laughs> 16 colors over text message. You like this, this work, this work. Hello, are you alive? Are you still there? Are you sober? Hit me up. I need to know what's going on, you know? And finally, we, we came to an agreement on this and Luckily, I only had to paint the tank once. I did paint a couple things a couple times on here because he didn't like the way they looked, but now he does. But, I mean, every part of it was painted or... Custom. Yeah, or touched. So, yeah. I'm excited with the way it came out. I really like our number plate, how that came out in the Dude, end. Dude, I'm pumped at the placement. I know you wasn't feeling the placement at first. I'm okay with it. I, I like, like it. it. I yeah. like it, dude. I feel like that covers everything, so there's only one thing left to do, dude, and that's to go test ride it. Dude, I'm gonna call dibs on that one. I've been waiting to ride this thing. I like really, 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 really want to ride this thing. I've been wanting to ride it. Well, I may or may not already call dibs. Hey, with who? Uh, well, me. But here's the thing, Mike. There is another bike inside and I can't touch. It's lunchtime. I can touch on this bike so you can ride the Pan American. On the way back, we switch? I'll see. All right, that's <laughs> close enough. I'll ride the Pan American. Hey, this thing is sweet, Mike. I gotta let you ride it back now. No, overall, the bike is amazing. Uh, it, dude, it rides awesome. It's like a firm sports car, like a Corvette or something. It's a little stiff, but other than that, dude, it runs, bro. I mean, it it's looks pretty comfortable. Oh, dude, the, the, your seating position, especially Richard, he's got longer torso and longer arms. He's yeah. gonna be real comfortable, but yeah. I know that cruising around Dallas was really cool and going around the curves and everything, but you know where it's going to be really badass, bro? Where's that? The Black Hills, South Dakota, Sturgis. Sturgis? Sturgis! I'm hungry. Yeah. 